I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will consider a few more linear trigonometric equations. Let us write down these equations first and then we will see how to solve them. So the first one will be 3 sin x equals to sin x plus 1 and then we will do 5 cosin x minus square root 3 equals to 3 cos x, right? So, we will solve these two equations and then let us see if we could do some more for you, right? So, the first equation is 3 sin x equals to sin x plus 1. We can bring sin x to the left side. So, we get 3 sin x minus sin x equals to 1. That gives us 2 sin x equals to 1 or sin x is equals to half. Since we are looking for sin x to be half, that means we are looking for two solutions and these two solutions should be in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 2. Reason is that the rule, right? So all are positive in quadrant 1, sin in 2, tan in 3, cosine in 4. Positive value means these two quadrants. So first and basic thing is we need to find the acute angle alpha. So we will write this as sin alpha equals to half and we can use our calculator to find the angle alpha. So that gives us alpha equals to sin inverse of half. So we will use shift sin, sin inverse that is and 1 divided by 2 bracket close equals to we get pi by 6. So we get alpha is equals to pi by 6. So that is the acute angle, right? So that is pi by 6 for us. So this is one of the solutions. The other one is pi minus pi by 6, correct? So those are the angle x. So I'm actually writing this as x instead of theta here. Okay, so angle x is equals to pi by 6, that is in quadrant 1. And the other one is pi minus pi by 6, which is equals to 5 pi by 6. So these are the two solutions for the given equation, right? Now let's take up the second equation. Let's bring all the cosine terms to the one side, left side. So we have cos 5 cos x minus 3 cos x equals to square root of 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. So we get 2 cosine x equals to square root of 3. Or we can say cos x equals to square root 3 over 2. Now, as far as the cos x is concerned, it is positive in which quadrants? It is positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 4, correct? How do we get it? We get it from the cos rule, right? Okay. Now, let us find the acute angle first. So, the acute angle for us will be, so we have to write this as cos alpha, the acute angle, as square root 3 over 2. We can use the calculator or we could use special triangle. For 3 by square root 3 by 2, it reminds us of a square special triangle, which is this, right? So we are looking for square root 3 over 2, so that angle is pi by 6. So we know here that alpha is equals to, you could use calculator, cos inverse square root 3 by 2, you will get pi by 6. So that is the acute angle, pi by 6, right? The other answer is 2 pi minus pi by 6. So we get x is equals to pi by 6 and 2 pi minus pi by 6. Now this 2 pi minus pi by 6 is 12 minus 1, 11 pi by 6, right? So we get two solutions for this particular question, right? So like that, you can solve your trigonometric equations, right? In the next video, we will consider uh, trigonometric ratios which will be involving secondary trigonometric ratios that is kind of 2 minus 2 cot x equals to 0. Remember cot x is 1 over tan x. So if you have to use calculator you may have to write this in terms of tan x and then find the solution, right? So we will see how to solve trigonometric equations involving reciprocal of primary trigonometric ratios. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.